Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, just a few things here. The uh, I keep hearing rumors that uh, possibly Donald and Melania, the Trumps, will. Uh, she's considering divorce. I hear rumors of that. I don't know. I don't know if she's filed or thinking about it or whatever. All I know is about four years ago, she was at the uh, Melbourne, in Melbourne, Florida, which I went to high school in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, grew up there for a while after we left Miami. And um, I think she was at the airport. And then she um, she actually did the Lord's Prayer. And actually, I, if I remember correctly, she said in Jesus' name. I was like, Wow. You know, the Donald said all the right things to uh, fool us, you know. And then when she said that, I said, well, you know what? Mer maybe America does have a chance. But uh, instead of draining the swamp, he uh, filled it with uh, more of the same swamp creatures. And of course, you know, he was like, oh, I need another four years to finish draining the swamp. Well, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, there's not much difference, but, uh, I saw a video where when Donald, she was standing slightly behind Donald and then he looked at her and she smiled. And then when he looked away, she frowned. I honestly think, um, uh, well, I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping she is somewhat of a believer. Um, uh, I don't know, but, uh, if she is. If she does have a conscience, which I don't think almost none of them in Washington do, and I think that uh, she's probably had enough of the swamp and wants out. Hopefully, she doesn't uh, have an accident, if you know what I mean. People with consciences uh, write books and things like that and talk. And the swamp can't have that. I mean, absolutely cannot have that. But uh, reports say that she's supposed to get between 300 and 500 million dollars. You know, if I was her, I would just say, hey, look, give me 10 mil. I'm out of here. And uh, be done with it. I'll keep my mouth shut. You guys, whatever you're going to do and get out of Dodge. I don't think there's any safe place anymore. I really don't. But uh, I honestly, I, I, you know, if she's a believer, uh, like I say, I just hope she doesn't have an accident. They usually get rid of people like her. She probably got tired of looking at the swamp. And all you people who think Donald is uh, so great, well, I got a video uh, on Donald Trump before the election, how he's going to investigate Hillary and then after the election, he says, well, you know, the Clintons, they're good people. I don't want to hurt them. And then and he was on some kind of a radio talk show, TV talk show thing or whatever, interview or whatever it was. And then after he was president elect, he was at some kind of a banquet dinner type thing. And the Clintons showed up and he's like, everybody, please rise and and give a round of applause for the Clintons. You know, everybody's like, oh. So, you know, if you think Donald's the savior of this country, uh, may I suggest Jesus? But uh, the thing is, when um, there was at least one Trump rally where um, it was in Tampa, where they were playing the Rolling Stones' Sympathy for the Devil. Oh, yeah. At least one. I've heard there was more than one, but I haven't, you know, I'm not going to watch, I don't have time to watch all this stuff. Either I'm going to make videos and write comments and warn people, or I'm going to watch videos of Trump rallies playing sympathy for the devil. I don't, I didn't like the Rolling Stones that much then, and I don't like them now. I must admit, I went to see them in concert because I got free tickets, and uh, I liked some of their early stuff like paint it black and stuff. but uh, And then my favorite Stone song was uh, 
we're so very lonely we're a long way from home or 10,000 years from home or whatever light years from home whatever and then I looked at the cover goat's head soup I was like yeah and I wasn't even a believer and I, I thought that was vile now I know exactly what it is so sympathy for the devil rolling stones at the uh, Trump rally lovely but what I really love about Trump is when he did the uh, you knew I was a snake when you took me in poem yeah Donald we knew you were a snake when we took you in we I get that thank you for being honest about it I appreciate that so all right well I just hope nothing happens to Melania if she's a if she's a true believer and I'd like to think she is but I don't know I I had high hopes for uh everything when um, I saw her I think it was the Melbourne Airport saying the Lord's Prayer in Jesus name boy I bet you there was a lot of you know who's that uh, yeah well they probably uh, told her the deal real quick you're gonna keep your mouth shut and she's probably had enough of it so she's probably gonna walk away and then Donald can get a another well, Donald can get a bimbo, whatever, gold digging bimbo, you know, maybe 30 years old or whatever. Uh, hey, maybe Hugh Hefner's got a couple throwaways available. I don't know. Yeah, and then uh, maybe him and Donald, uh, Hugh and Donald can, you know, after uh, Donald dies, he they can swap stories about how hot those women were. Yeah, well, guess what? Where they're probably going, it's there. Those women are going to be hot. Yeah, it's called uh, hell. All right, so all right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.